Well, the head of the International Atomic Energy Organization meets the president of a nuclear armed Israel. During the meeting, Yuki Amano failed to reflect international concerns about Israel's nuclear arsenal. Instead, he told Shimon Peres that Tel Aviv is a valued partner for the IAEA. And then the focus shifted to Iran's nuclear energy program. Israel is a very valued partner for the IAEA, both in the region and beyond. We appreciate very much our cooperation with your country in the areas uh, such as um, nuclear medicine, radiotherapy, and sterile insect technology. The international community uh, needs uh, to address difficult issues such as uh, the Iran nuclear issues and uh, the nuclear weapon free zone in Middle East. I firmly believe uh, that Israel has a very important role to play. The implementation of the agreement between the agency and Iran is progressing, unfortunately, at a slow pace. The meeting between Amano and Perez was held at the headquarters of the UN Nuclear Agency in Vienna. This is Iran and the permanent members of the UN Security Council plus Germany have been holding nuclear talks aimed at reaching a comprehensive deal in a matter of months. Israel, which is not a member of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, does not allow international inspectors to visit its nuclear weapons facilities. Tel Aviv has also been trying to sabotage the nuclear talks between the P5 plus 1 and Iran, which says its nuclear program is peaceful. Now, earlier we had reported that the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency has met with the president of nuclear-armed Israel. I'm now being told uh, Mr. Kavya Afrasiabi is on the line with us from Boston to uh, speak about this uh, a bit further. Uh, Mr. Afrasiabi, thanks very much for joining us here on Press TV. Now, Israel is being called a valued partner by the director general of the IAEA. This is when we do know that Israel is not a member of the NPT. It does not allow the international inspectors to visit its nuclear weapons facilities. And in the same breath, Yuki Amano uh, spoke about Iran. Uh, and Iran is a country which has shown nothing but transparency and willingness to cooperate. What do you make of this hypocrisy? Well, I really think this is double standard run amok because the praise that Mr. Amano had for a nuclear parrier state, Israel, is totally uncalled for. Israel has defied the UN General Assembly resolution of December 2012 that called on the state of Israel to open up its nuclear facilities to IAEA inspections. And one is at a loss for words to describe and indeed find out why the director general of the IAEA failed in his meeting with the Israeli leader to press on him the importance of abiding by the will of the international community and to continue with his flagrant uh, callous disregard for what the United Nations and the international community has demanded from Israel, which is a clandestine nuclear weapon state. So it's really, you know, case of a sheep uh, walking in, uh, I'm sorry, a wolf walking in sheep's clothes, defrauding the IAEA of its basic principles because Mr. Amano is obligated by his uh, functional duty to impress upon Israel the importance of what the majority of the IAEA member states want per a 2009 resolution that, uh, uh, that pressed on Israel to open up its nuclear facilities. And Mr. Afrasiabi, then what does this mean for the legitimacy of international organizations like the IAEA? Well, I really think it undermines the legitimacy and the credibility of the IAEA and the Office of the Director General. Mr. Amano already has a credibility uh, problem uh, per a recent WikiLeaks release that showed that is uh, overly pro-American and pro-Western. And uh, in order to, uh, to dis de dispel that suspicion and to perform his uh, duty even-handedly, Mr. Amano must uh, pressure Israel to, uh, to, you know, open up to IAEA inspections and, uh, and show his facilities that are underground. 
Okay, political scientist Kavi Afrasiabi, they're joining us from Boston. Many thanks indeed, sir, for your comments here on Press TV.